Hi, I'm Olivia, and today's happy night it comes from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, the legendary German-Austrian musician, classical composer, and conductor. To Mozart, music was a living being. He interacted with music as if it were a natural, organic, and passionate love affair. But Mozart wasn't just passionate about music, he was passionate about life, giving himself wholly to every endeavor. Mozart was observant and insightful, clinical in his judgment of his own musical abilities, and therefore cognizant of the true musical skill of others. Apart from being a composer of genius, Mozart was a virtuoso pianist, organist, and violinist. He was exacting about the fundamentals of piano playing, with an ability to use his skills and express his ideas with precision, perfect tempo, brilliant technique, innovative creativity, and sublime execution. In a letter to his father in 1777, Mozart wrote, The thing is, I have an inexpressible desire to write an opera again. It would make me so happy because it gives me something to compose, which is my real joy and passion. Whenever I hear people talk about an opera, whenever I am in the theater and just hear the tuning of the instruments, oh, I get so excited. I'm totally beside myself. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in Salzburg in 1756. His father, Leopold, was an ambitious composer and violinist in the service of the Prince Archbishop of Salzburg. Leopold soon realized that Wolfgang was a child prodigy who began composing music at the age of five. At the age of six and seven, Mozart was already playing for emperors, kings, and the nobility. When Mozart was 13 years old, he and his father set out on a three-year journey through Italy to display Mozart's musical talents. Mozart was devoted to his mother and his sister and adoring of his father. He was incredibly loving, playful, silly, a consummate jokester, but always respectful and, above all, an obedient son. Mozart found joy and inspiration everywhere, delighted by life. His use of language was as creative as his use of music. He was witty and playful in his writing, using puns, rhymes, alliteration, jokes, sarcasm, parodies, rhythmic prose, and lyric poetry. By the time Mozart was 15, he was praised and admired in many European cities. It was Leopold's eternal hope that Mozart would secure a position as a court musician and eventually court composer, something that would ensure his family's financial stability. But the reality of music in Mozart's day was that musicians were considered little more than servants in the households of wealthy aristocrats and nobles. Much as they tried, Mozart could not secure a position in the courts of Italy or Vienna, the musical capital of continental Europe. Mozart had to content himself with serving as a court musician and concertmaster in the orchestra of the Archbishop in Salzburg for two and a half years, honing his skills as a pianist and violinist as well as writing music. But Mozart longed to be independent and away from Salzburg. He had a deep conviction in his own talent and a burning desire to express his soul in music. At last, when Mozart was 21, he set out through Germany, ready to conquer the world. But the journey proved to be a constant struggle. Mozart craved recognition. He believed in people to a folly, sometimes getting lost in praise and admiration, unable to recognize when people's willingness to help him was sincere and when it wasn't. As the pressures of not being able to secure a permanent job mounted, Mozart's relationship with his father grew strained. Leopold constantly pressured him to hustle and to bow to the nobility in order to get a permanent job. But Mozart hated and had no patience for the pompousness, ignorance, conceit, and arrogance of the nobility, and for having to depend on the whims of the courts for his livelihood. Mozart's own confidence sometimes bordered on arrogance, and it rubbed other musicians, many who were envious, the wrong way. To make matters worse, Mozart lacked tact and diplomatic skills, and did not work to promote himself, believing his talent spoke for itself. This allowed his enemies to plot and scheme to keep Mozart from succeeding and getting court appointments. But in spite of these intrigues and obstacles, Mozart kept things humorous. 
not taking himself or anyone else too seriously. He had a gift for being lighthearted. At around this time, Mozart fell hopelessly in love with an aspiring singer who did not love him back, but was using him, using him to get ahead in her career. But he did not listen to his father's cautionary advice. He did not see through her deception because he longed so much to be loved. When she became famous, Mozart dropped everything to propose to her and she ignored him. Leopold hated anything that took his son away from his music. He constantly reminded Mozart of his family's precarious financial situation and their numerous debts. Brokenhearted and disillusioned, Mozart left for Paris to search for a permanent job. But once again he failed in the art of court politics. As much as people loved and praised Mozart's music, he could barely survive financially by teaching students privately. When Mozart was 22 years old, his mother suddenly died of a typhus infection while he nursed her. Deeply affected by this loss, Mozart continued to experience frustrations and humiliations in Paris. Having to face reality, Mozart was forced to return to Salzburg, a place he hated because of its lack of commitment and future in music. Mozart also despised the Prince Archbishop, defying the customs of the times. He hated being lied to, scolded, and humiliated at every turn. Mozart believed that a man's position was determined by his heart and not his social status. Driven to the point of madness, Mozart was emotionally depleted, walking the streets like a drunken ghost, but he was determined to take control of his life. In an act of unprecedented defiance, when Mozart was 25 years old, he quit his service to the Prince Archbishop, standing up to Salzburg, the Prince, and his own father, and in doing so, he became his own man. Mozart spent the next 10 years in Vienna, becoming a living legend composing some of his greatest masterpieces. It wasn't long after Mozart got to Vienna that he fell in love again with a girl of humble means. Leopold did not approve, believing this woman and her mother were taking advantage of Mozart. But Leopold was particularly cruel, still seething from his son's defiance against himself and the archbishop. Mozart was brokenhearted about his father's lack of emotional support but he was convinced of his love, and he eloped, marrying in secret. Mozart's young wife soon developed many illnesses, and Mozart moved heaven and earth, often ignoring his own health, to provide her with all the medical treatments she needed. For the rest of his life, Mozart struggled financially, swamped with his wife's expensive medical bills, living from hand to mouth, begging his wealthy friends for money to get by, while he poured himself into his work with feverish enthusiasm. Amidst the many stresses of his life, financial instability, the death of his mother and later his father, the death of four of his newborn children, his wife's many illnesses, and his own health problems, Mozart never lost concentration or patience for his work. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart died a tragic death at the age of 35 from renal failure, compounded by a variety of physical ailments with painful symptoms that were present for a long time. But even in his darkest hours, Mozart never lost that joyful playfulness, that lightness of being, that love of living and loving he expressed so brilliantly in his music. In a mere 35 years, Mozart left a musical legacy that is eternal. In a letter to his father when he was 21 years old, in 1777, Mozart wrote, I was in such high spirits today, I cannot describe it. I played everything from memory. I cannot write poetically. I am not a poet. I cannot arrange my words so artfully that they reflect shadow and light. I am not a painter. I cannot even express my feelings and thoughts through gestures and pantomimes. I am not a dancer but I can do it with the sounds of music. I am a musicist. Tomorrow, I will play a whole congratulatory arrangement on the clavier for both your name day and birthday. Today, I can only wish you with all my heart 
Montre, cher père. What I wish for you every day, mornings and evenings. Good health, a long life, and a cheerful heart. I do hope that my wish is now fulfilled. I will close now with a musical wish. I wish that you will live as many years as it takes until nothing new can be done anymore in music. Farewell for now. I ask you most humbly to continue loving me a little and to be content for the moment with this token of a congratulation until new drawers can be made for my small little brain box so I have a place to put the brain that I still hope to acquire. I kiss Papa's hands a thousand times and I remain until death. Mon très cher père, your most obedient son. Mozart's music flowed from the deepest part of his heart with a magical touch that has transcended time. When we listen to Mozart's music, his love, joy, and passion for living resonate in our hearts, our minds, and our souls. His music lifts us up and shakes every fiber of our being. Pompousness, ignorance, conceit, and arrogance have been around since the beginning of time. There will always be people who will make themselves great with empty words and mediocre skills. And only, and only those who truly work for the skills they have mastered are able to unravel their midget illusions. A genius isn't someone who is perfect. It's someone who lives to express their souls with genuine passion and talent. True genius isn't about an isolated skill or talent. Geniuses who transcend time do so because their creations are an amalgamation of everything they are as human beings, their personalities, their attitudes, their actions, flaws, passions, skills, and talents all come together into a symphony of joyful and passionate purpose. And that's today's Happy Nugget. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. As always, I link below the video anything I recommend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.